welcoming, welcoming Spencer to the Hall of Fame are Charles Barkley, Lenny Wilkins, and Bill Walton. Ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Haywood. Thank you so much, and thank you all for letting me join this great fraternity of great athletes, and I mean truly special and great athletes and great human beings. Standing on my right here, my friend who walked me through the journey when I was 21 years old, Lenny Wilkins, walked me through it. a dear friend and a great competitor and a champion, my friend, Bill Walton. Hold on one second, y'all. He's a dead head and I'm a jazz head. <laughs> okay? For the Grateful Dead. Yes, sir. And my man, Charles Barkley. Oh my gosh, what a fierce competitor. Great human being. And it's probably only twice that you'll see a guy from Alabama and Mississippi standing on the stage together, but we'll do this tonight. But I thank you for being my guardian angel to educate the young men that play this game today about my life and who I am and what I've done for the game. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you. My life, my career started in Silver City, Mississippi, population 300. And my mom and my nine siblings, we picked cotton from 12, for 12 hours a day in the cotton fields in the Delta of Mississippi. We didn't have money and food, but we sure did have a love for God. We had a special relationship with God. And many times I would, we would be so hungry and we would be so desperate, but every time God came through for our family, somebody would walk up to us and say, Eunice, I got some beans, I got some rice. And we were able to eat. And so, from that humble beginning, my brother Leroy, He's right here, and he, uh, he said, man, you know what? I want to come and get you and bring you up north to meet a great coach, a man by the name of Will Robinson. Will Robinson was the first black coach to ever coach in NC2A history. Will Robertson adopted me and raised me along with James and Ida Bell. These people did not know about, you know, this guy was going to be a great talent or a great basketball player. It was a human spirit. They just grabbed me, and I know the hand of God was in charge of all of it. I know it. And you, because, I mean, I just want to, just want to think about it. And, and from there, we were able to win the Class A state championship, the first time the city of Detroit had ever won it in 35 years. And along the way, a young man from the Detroit Pistons who had no business playing with high school boys like us, Ralph Simpson, myself, Dave Bing, right there, Dave Bing, Dave Bing would bring the Pistons over to our gym in high school, and we scrimmaged the Pistons. That's the kind of love that we had going on in Detroit. It was a special and wonderful love. And uh, 
From there, I decided to go back home and go down south. I signed with the University of Tennessee. It did not work out, so I ended up in Trinidad, Colorado. And Will Robinson said to me, well, you know, this place is close to Denver, and it's also close to Albuquerque. I didn't know because we didn't have Google. We didn't have anything. So <laughs> I said, yeah, let's go. So I go to Trinidad and became, become the, the, the junior college player of the year. In 1968, we had a, boy, a black boycott of the 68 Olympics. And a number of great players stood with the solidarity of the African-American community and said, I'm not going. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wesley Unsell, Elvin Hayes. And the coach said, I got a kid down here in junior college. Hank Iber said, I got a boy down there in junior college. He's only 18. We're going to bring him down here to the US Olympics in Mexico City. And they brought me down there. And I was like, wow. And again, we were able to we were an underdog in 1968. We was not supposed to win, but we went 9-0, and and we won the gold medal. I set a record. I set a record, I set a record in points with 144. This guy that just came in in 2012 broke it after 44 years, Kevin Durant. Is he here? No, I'm just joking. But anyway. <laughs> So I was like, wow. And I set a field goal percentage record at 72. And I became the youngest American in the history of America to win a gold medal at age 19 years old. And from there, I went back to the University of Detroit, where I was the college player of the year, outstanding college player of the year. I was doing pretty good numbers. I was doing 32 and 23. Yeah, I know. 32 points, 23 boards. <laughs> and so the NBA had made a big draft pick for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And the ABA came to me calling and like knocking on the door. You, you're going to need help. Your family's poor. Come on, let's come with me. And so I, I signed with them because I was disappointed that the University of Detroit did not sign Will Robinson as my coach, which we agreed upon. But it worked out for the better. So here I am in Denver. Dan, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dan is all right back there, yes. That first year in Denver, I averaged 30 points and 20 rebounds for 82 games. So I was doing serious work, serious work. I became the MVP, Rookie of the Year, leading scorer, leading rebounder, MVP of the All-Star Game. There's only two players in the history of basketball to ever do that, and the great Will Chamberlain, God rest his soul, is one or the other, and I'm the other. But then I signed with, I signed with Seattle, and I was still an underclassman, but I had a guardian angel in Seattle, just like Barkley is my today's guardian angel. I had Lenny Wilkins. Yes, sir. I had Lenny Wilkins because when I signed with Seattle, the NBA uh, filed suit against me and put an injunction on me that I could not play for 10 games. So I struggled and was waiting, like, what am I going to do? And then we filed suit and we got on the floor, and when I walk on the floor, they would throw things on me and say, you're destroying basketball and college basketball as we know it, pros. And so, but we got through it. We kept going on and on. We went through the lower courts, through the state court, all the way to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court says, I believe in you, young man, because I was fighting for my mother. My mother was still in Silver City, Mississippi picking cotton for two dollars a day. So I was able to get her off of her knees because her back had went out. <laughs> Man, cotton picking is some hard work, but it, it'll make you strong. So by doing that, I see the results of all of this hard work and what my fight was. I won't go through it all because I promise John Jerez that I would spend over five minutes, but I could tell you some wonderful stories. So 
I said to John, and I see y'all like bubbling up and getting me all wired up, but uh, I said to him I would finish it off. But I, I, I was able to do that and to see the results today. For an example, young fella, for a guy like LeBron James, he got four extra years at $25 million. He's $100 million richer. Kevin Durant got three extra years. He's $75 million richer. His family is up and going. Steph Curry, he's got two years, so he's got $50 million. So I see the impact, and I see what I have done, and by the grace of God, it has happened for me. And to be here in this Hall of Fame tonight, it's like a blessing. It's beyond me, and it's wonderful. I want to acknowledge my wonderful wife of 25 years, Linda Haywood, right there. My oldest daughter, Zuleika, right there. My next two, no, she's next to the bottom. Shakira, right there. And the man who started it all, my brother Leroy, right there. I want to thank Commissioner Stern. I, 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 it's kind of hard for me to say former commissioner right now, but I'm going to say former Commissioner Stern for his great vision to get us to where we are today. And I want to thank Adam Silver, man. He, you are doing an incredible job. You're making it all happen. The NBA is growing leaps and bounds. I want to see you all work it out. And Michelle Roberts, you're here, sweetie. But if you're not, uh, I want to thank you. And I want to thank God, most importantly, for allowing this night to happen for me and my family and for the NBA. And uh, I remember, guys, I had game. It was not like I just did this Supreme Court thing. I had some serious game. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.